here into Calendly and show you how to create one-on-one -on -one events and or group events. You can see here these um, parent tours are still in here. Um, you can leave these in here or you can delete them. It just depends on how you want to use Calendly. If you share the Calendly link, this one, it gives them all of the tours or all of the events that you have in Calendly. So um, I don't think that you necessarily want to do that. You probably just want to share the unique Calendly links to the specific events. So when we're done creating the one-on-one -on -one or the group event, you'll just jump into Calendly, copy the link, and then paste it into your email depending on if you want that parent to schedule a one-on-one -on -one or if you want them to schedule an event. So I'm going to click here on new event type and you'll see that it kind of takes you through this wizard one-on-one -on -one versus group. Uh, we'll start with the one-on-one -on -one first and it's pretty straightforward here. You just put in the event name, so yes, um, meeting or whatever you want to call it. Here you're going to want to click zoom and then you're going to want to click on the zoom integrate integration page to connect your account. Um, you can send me the login to Zoom if you'd like me to do that or you can go ahead and do it yourself. If you don't want to deal with connecting Zoom, you don't have to, um, you can just call this Zoom meeting link in calendar. Okay. And then here you would put the Zoom link and instructions step by step. You get the gist. Here you can customize the event link. So this is the link that you're going to send out parent to parents for the one-on-one. -on -one. We can just call it that. And click next. Now I'm going to walk you through this and set it up and then you can go in and either do it yourself um, all over again and just delete the previous event or you can edit this if something doesn't look right. So I'm going to give this a 45 minute duration. This is the date range like how far in advance people can schedule and here you can see your default availability is anywhere from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You probably don't want to leave that that way. You probably want to set up individual or time slots so people can select the one-on-one -on -one meetings to have with you. So let's say you want to do, oops, we're going to say I'm unavailable and apply to all Mondays. So no meetings are accepted on Mondays. But Tuesdays, if we want to allow parents to book with us, these are the one-on-ones, so from 11 to 12 and 2 to 3, PM. This can be applied to all Tuesdays and then you just want to say I'm unavailable for the rest of these. Apply to all. I'm unavailable. Apply to all. So essentially the only time that you're available for one-on-one -on -one meetings is from 11 to 12 and 2 to 3 and they can choose and you just click next and um, if you want to add sorry for the toilet flush <laughs> if you want to add any uh, questions that you want to collect from parents um, I don't think you're going to need to do this because people are essentially going to be giving you their information beforehand um, when they do the interest form on the website it looks like they do require at least name and email so that Calendly can log that data. But other than that, probably don't need to add anything else since they've already filled out the interest form. And that's loading. Uh, and then you can just jump in here and take a look at if you want to have an email reminder. You can personalize it to send, you know, event name at event time on event date. Hi, your name, and you can send this 24 hours before. Probably don't need a cancellation policy, and then a confirmation page, which we 
can just redirect them to psacademyarizona.com slash thank you. I'm going to confirm that with you after this. So if that link changes, I will send it to you. And that should do it. So you view your live page. And you can see this is for the one-on-one -on -one only. Sorry, it's a little slow here. I have about 8,000 tabs open. So this is what parents will see. Um, obviously, Kathy's name is in here. You can change that in the account settings if you want to. Um, but parents will be able to see that they can book a meeting on the 12th, the 9th, or the, the 26th. And they can select between... Um, 8 or 11. That's, sorry, this is in Spanish time. Okay. Now, um, that's done. If you want to do a group meeting, you pretty much do the same thing, except it's just set up differently. So here's your one-on-one -on -one that you can either edit or delete and start over. And we're going to do your group event. Here, the idea is the same. So I would say you can change this later. Again, either connect Zoom or do custom. And description, instructions, etc. And you can put the maximum invites in a spot. So since you're doing these online, I would limit them to, I don't know, four or six parents maximum, just so people aren't overwhelmed with having too many people online and they can feel comfortable asking questions. Here you can change your duration time. And again, it defaults to your availability from nine to five. You're just going to say, I'm unavailable, apply to all. I'm unavailable, apply it all, and let's say you want to do the group tours on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays from 11 to 12, apply to all Wednesdays. And then the rest of these you just delete. And so this is for the group tour. Only from 11 to 12 on Wednesdays. You can book 60 days in advance. Again, you can set up the email confirmation, uh, your email cancellations, your event reminders, which we usually have these on, and etc. Save that, and then your confirmation page is yes. AcademyArizona.com slash thank you. And um, I'll let you know if that link changes, like I said. And this is good to go. So here you can view your live page. And this is the link that would be used to send to parents for the group meetings. So when you go back to Calendly here, the quickest way to grab these links is to copy the link here or here. So depending on if you want to send the group meeting, you would click on this link and the one-on-one -on -one, this link. I hope that clears things up for you in regards to how to use Calendly, but of course if you have any questions or you need help troubleshooting or you want me to connect Zoom for you or anything, uh, please reach out and let me know. All right, thank you.